So today we have a one more AI video generator that allows you to generate 10 second long videos. It offers text to video, image to video, but the most important feature is that you can transfer the facial expressions from one video to another video. And I'm very excited. Let's dive in. All right, so this is called vivago.ai. And to use this, click on this try for free. And by the way, the link will be in the description below. So this is the community section where you can see a lot of different videos from the other creators. These are some of the cartoon videos and Halloween videos because the Halloween season is here. So if I play one of these videos, you can see this cartoon or alien kind of thing is wearing that pumpkin and delivering those spooky vibes. Now here is a one more video where someone is walking down a street and look at the cinematic lighting, look at the motion. This is amazing. And here's one more video, the first person view of someone driving a car. Well, the car looks very futuristic. And if we look at the trees and while the car is moving forward, there is no morphing in the trees or on the road. Each and everything looks super consistent. Well, they do have a lot of different models like the image generation model, 3D generation model and character creation. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video generator. So click on the video generator and this is the interface. So you can see we have the text to video image to video, remove background. So these are all of the features. And the most favorite feature is the image to video that I'm going to explain later in the video. But first of all, we're going to test their newest model that they have improved. And this is their premium video model. So let's give it any prompt like a woman wearing red dress and black leather jacket with sunglasses walking on a Tokyo street. And we will be using its premium model. And if I scroll down, you can also control the motion strength. So by default, this is on the 25. You can decrease it or increase it accordingly. So let's keep it around 30. And next we have the option to select the aspect ratio. So 16 ratio 9 is my favorite one. Then you can enter any seed number. Next, we even have the option for the negative prompt. So you can enter any keywords like blur, morph or whatever you want to add and hit generate. Okay, so here is the output and it followed the prompt very accurately. We, the woman is wearing a red dress, she's wearing a leather jacket, she's wearing sunglasses and we have the night time and if, and if we look at these signs on the street, you can see there is some kind of a Japanese or the Chinese word. So it followed the prompt very accurately and if you talk about the video itself, yes, this is not very super realistic but the movement in the video, the way she walked, the way people walk on the background, it looks very satisfying. I don't have any complaints with this video. Overall, this is a decent video. Well, if you are not good in prompting like me, you can get the help from the prompt board. So if you click on that, you can see we have this window. So you can just type your basic idea and the AI will give you the full detail prompt. So let's give it any idea like an Instagram model recording a selfie video. All right. So here you can see it gave us the detailed prompt. So you can just use this prompt or you can copy this prompt. So let's test a new prompt. All right. So this is the output from an Instagram woman recording a selfie video. And you can see she's standing in front of a window and you can see there is a harsh sunlight coming out of it. And you can also notice some kind of a lens flare in the video. So it means that it's actually capturing the actual dynamics of the video. Because if you are recording something on a phone and you are facing towards the sunlight, you will notice these kind of lens flares. And if we're talking about the video, yes, her teeth, her smile, each and everything looks very perfect. We don't have any morphing effect and this is kind of a decent video. Well, you can also extend this video 5 seconds more and if you want to upscale this video, you have the option to upscale to 4K. Now let's move on to the image to video section and this is one of my favorite options. And here you can see we have the keyframing option. You can upload your first frame and the last frame. So here we have the image of a river at daytime. In the next frame, we're going to upload the image of a same place but with night time. And in the prompt section, I'm going to type a day to night time lapse. All right. So this is the output video. And now you can see we have very smooth transition from day to night. Yes, it changes uh, the mountain a little bit, but overall it looks very appealing. And then I generated the same video with just little variation in the prompt. And here is the output. And this is looking much better than the previous one. Now let's move on to its normal image to video feature. So just upload your image. So I'm going to upload this image and I'm going to give it a prompt, a man smiling expressive face and hit generate. All right, so here is the output and uh, this is not a bad video. You can see uh, the guy is kind of in a joy and and you can notice some kind of a stylization uh, because this image was already stylized. So that is why we have some kind of stylization. And the good thing is that we don't have any morphing. The guy is, you know, in a joy and all that. So it looks good on him. Now here is the one more output. And in this one, you can see we only have the motion on the face and uh, 
now this time this man is really looking uh, expressive all right so here we have a one more interesting feature that is templates so let's say i have this image then you just need to select the aspect ratio and now if i click on that you can see we have multiple templates where you can apply different expressions so we have the eye rolling we have the multiple expression we have the eye dancing eyebrow dance so these are different kind of templates but if you want to upload your video to get your desired expressions so you have the option so i'm gonna use this video so let's select this video and make sure that your video should be in a one ratio one aspect ratio and it should not be longer than the 15 seconds all right so this is the output video and now you can see this cartoon character is performing the exact same expressions that we have in our initial video and it looks very smooth and uh, you can see we don't have any issues with the face eyes it looks very attractive so here you can see she's showing multiple expressions and it doesn't look like this is you know a bad generation you can see the motion is only on the face but it looks very good and next we have the eyebrow movement and this one also looks very natural and next we have this eye rolling effect and this is awesome and these things are very cool to apply on your ai generated animations or you can also try this thing with your own images now we also have the magic brush feature inside of the image to video model so this feature allows you to get your desired motion inside of the image and let me show you how it works so let's say i have this image of a three cats and then we're going to go ahead to the magic brush feature and here you can see we have two options so, so first of all you need to make a mask with this brush tool the area that you want to move and then if you have the multiple objects you can change the brush and you can give it a different mask so let me mask the faces of these cats well you also have the option to add a new brush if you want to but i would like to go with these two and next in the motion track feature simply give the direction where you want the motion so i just want this cat to look on the left side and also with this one and then hit confirm and in the prompt section i'm going to type cats looking around and hit generate all right so this is the output video and now you can see these cats are looking on the left side yes there is some kind of uh, distortion on the face when she's looking around it looks like a fox instead of a cat but please keep in mind that this is a very complex task but if you try these things with the water or any other thing this will work better than this one so right now this tool is free well they do have some premium plans but the only limitation in the free plan is that you can only generate one video at a time but once the video is finished you can go for another prompt but if you want your videos to generate fast you can definitely go with the premium plan so the link is in the description below go ahead and check this out and that's it from today i hope you guys enjoyed something new and if you did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one